Hello, this is Jacob with EPC, and today we'll be taking a look at the Dell Latitude 5400. We here at EPC have seen a lot of these laptops, as at one point they were a very popular laptop in the workplace environment. We also believe that these things are worthy of a second life, so today we'll be showing you a full teardown and how to do it yourself. Now let's get into it. Alright, and to start off we have eight captured screws along the edges of the case, along with one in the middle. The mat cover will come off with just a little bit of pressure applied just under the case. start off any repair, you should remove power from the device. Just one screw holds this battery in. Let's go ahead and remove the hard drive, just held in by two of these small screws. Let's start removing piece by piece. First, we have the fan. Just two small screws. And one connector right here. We have this small brace here with just two screws. Remove the power connector. You have a bracket for the display connector. Just two screws on this one. This should pop right off, but let's give it a little support. Now we'll remove the Wi-Fi connector, just held on by a single screw. We have to disconnect the Wi-Fi cables. Be very careful. Just apply directly, pressure directly underneath. Now let's go ahead and remove the lid. What I'm going to do here is open up the device flip it around and then we'll set it right on the edge of the table. It's best not to put too much pressure on these hinges so this way we can alleviate all that pressure while moving it straight up once we remove the screws. It's just two screws on either side. These screws are slightly larger than the other long screws so make sure not to get them mixed up. comes right off. Let's go ahead and remove that power button slash fingerprint reader. Although this is just the bracket for now. And then to disconnect it, just a little bit of pressure right underneath. Now we're going to remove this plastic shell which holds the board in place. It is six large screws along the edge here, as well as six small screws holding in this lower section. Now this 
plastic piece that comes right off. The board itself is only held in by two more screws. These two up here. But before we remove the board, we also have to remove these three ribbon cables as long as, as long as the audio connector. All right, then the board itself lifts up from the left side and then it comes right out. And now to continue the teardown, we have the fingerprint reader slash power button right here held in by two screws. These clips under the screws are rather tough to get out. I just apply a little pressure underneath. There it goes. We also have the LED indicator down here, just held on by a single screw. Here it appears that one's stripped. Wasn't expecting that. This ripping cable is adhered to the case, so just lift it up gently so it doesn't rip. And that comes right out. We also have the mouse buttons here. They are connected by a small piece of tape to the speaker cables, although I've already cut that piece of tape just for the convenience of the video. on by this small ribbon cable right here. Then it lifts right out. We also have the speaker assembly here, though that's just held in by these small floating rubber brackets. No screws to get that one out, just a little bit of tape on the cable. And lift these out straight. So also these ribbon cables right here, which we'll take off just for posterity. If you wish, the keyboard itself is also removable, although we'll not be doing that today as there's a variety of screws around the edge which we require. And that's how you tear down the Latitude 5400. Don't feel like doing a teardown yourself? Have not just one, but hundreds of devices taking up space? EPC is a global leader in the ITAD field, and it's our goal to reduce e-waste and give devices a second chance. Reach out to us today to learn more.